guest is one of the hottest stars on the WWE SmackDown roster. Here he is from West Newbury, Massachusetts, John Senna. Some of your fans up there, boy, yeah, they're really excited to see you. Yeah, well, yeah, we, <laughs> there are others, but uh, <laughs> we, we like a mixed crowd. Yeah, yeah you know. Now, uh, I, I heard you used to practice your moves in the basement when you were a kid. Is yeah, that how you man, got into this? That was, uh, was a weird time for me, you know. Mm -hmm. Me too. I know. But well, anyway, we, no, uh, as a kid, I, I got... I tell you about the time my dad caught me in the basement taking the head off my Ken doll. <laughs> you and I have led drastically different lives. Go ahead. <laughs> Hey, yo, uh, I got four brothers. Yeah. None of them had Ken dolls. Right. But uh, we uh, we always used to wrestle in our basement. We used to wrestle mm -hmm. on bare concrete floor. You know, we'd uh, watch the Hulkster on TV, and then mm -hmm. we'd go down in our basement, and we'd just beat each other up. And now now you're using, uh, you know, thick uh, foam mat and uh, all kinds of safety equipment. Do you feel like a bit of a wuss now? I, as opposed to <laughs> I feel a little bit cheated, younger. man, yeah. but I don't, I don't yeah. want them to bring back the concrete. I'm, I'm liking what now, we got now, going. Let me ask you this. Have you seen this extreme backyard wrestling? I have. These kids are crazy. Yeah, where they take the fluorescent uh, lights and fluorescent they smash light each other bombs, over their They head. got, like, exploding stuff. Yeah, they, they jump mean, like, into barbed wire. They, jump, on a, they yeah. jump off of cars yeah. and houses. And, and they set each other on fire. That's, that's not for me, man. No, good. Good yeah. to hear that. Now, uh, they're also not getting paid, by the way. No, they, see. They're, they're doing it for the fun of it. Yeah, yeah, it's just ridiculous. I don't know about that. Now, now what inspired you to get into this uh, this wrestling game? You know what? I've always been a fan of it, and uh, mm -hmm. it just um, I moved out to California. I'm born and raised in West Newbury, Massachusetts. Right. Lovely uh, town. Yes. Uh, post office and a stoplight. Yeah. That's all we got. Yeah. But anyway. Kind of the Port Perry of the U.S. <laughs> Very you know, I heard you talking about Port Perry, and yeah. it sounds exactly like oh, it yeah, over yeah, there. A lot, of, lot of room. We got a lot of room yeah. over there. Yeah. All right. Um, Moved out to California. I uh, started working like a dead-end job over there, just working a ton of hours. One kid that I worked now, with. What were you doing? What type, type of job were you doing? I was doing? actually uh, building gyms when they, like, you know, contract the gym. There are right. people that got to move equipment in there and, like, move the dumbbells in there and stuff like that. Really? Was, so you would move the dumbbells into the gym? Yes, and <laughs> build the equipment and, like, set up yeah, the gym. Yeah, so. I love that. That's great. You wouldn't have to take a gym membership. No, no, no. Just, just uh, move the stuff go in. Go into work, yeah. Every day. Every single day. <laughs> All right, I like that. Yeah, it was uh, it was crazy. Yeah. But uh, one of the guys I worked with was trained to be a wrestler, mm -hmm. and he uh, he just convinced me to go down to the school. And once I actually saw a ring and could get in a ring and mess around, it was. It now was there's awesome. actually a school. Yeah, there's a wrestling. bunch of schools. There's schools all over the place. Now I'm uh, picturing things like a physics department, a math department, the whole cap and gown. Yeah, type the thing. whole thing. It's yeah. Like, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's like a school for the performing arts as yeah, well. You have to get high marks in physics, math, and then you move on it's to the rest. A little more low budget than that. All right, so it's mostly just wrestling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, you know, they, they, uh, they teach you your craft, and from there, if, if you get lucky, you go on to the next level. Now, you're interesting, because you're uh, part of that new generation, the uh, generation that actually generation. grew up watching. What's up yeah. now? Yeah. Well, you grew up watching the WWF. Yep. You, you were, I, I don't imagine. Now WWE. 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 Got the F out. That's right, yes. Because uh, apparently the World Wildlife Fund scared them into changing the Those name. Those pandas are scary, man, with the <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Vince run from the tree under. Now... You got, you got your, uh, you got your big break in, in, in college, uh, and uh, you were sort of discovered there as well, were you not? Uh, well, do they scout? Yeah, they, college? They, well, I mean, well, it wasn't in college; it was after college when I started training to be a wrestler. Uh, WWE tours all over the country, and they just came. Well, I'm talking about the wrestling school or the wrestling college. Yeah, where they well, scouted. Not, not really a college. That's. I like to think of it. Oh, as a okay, college. then. Yes. Yeah. While I was at the fine wrestling institution known as the College of Wrestling, I like yeah. to think of it as a private boys' school with you guys in little shorts and just wrestling <laughs> with each other. We're <laughs> sweaty, <laughs> weird but fun. Man, anyway. What's a, what does it take to get you steam? <sighs> pushing you like you wouldn't believe. <laughs> now, now, how do? How do how do you and the other guys in the WWE get along? Because we see a lot of uh, anger, we see a lot of... A lot of aggression. Right? Yeah, a lot of aggression, but we, we don't know if you're really friends behind the scenes. Some people you are, some people you aren't. Right, right. Now, who would your mortal enemy be? Um, 
I really have no mortal enemies. That's really, that's, that's, mm -hmm. that's kind of a big Whoa, thing. Okay. Uh, who, who There's do plenty you of haters out there, dog. Okay. You know, not yeah. a lot of people digging the throwback and the hat, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. Well, who do you dislike? Who do you dislike on the circuit? I love for everybody, man. All right. Uh, I, I've, I've had well, a Well, I would suggest that your career's over then. Really. Yes. <laughs> Already then. I'll be the loving guy over in the corner with nobody to fight. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> No, I've had, a, I've had a big feud with another new guy in our company. He is uh, a person I like to call the manster because he is half man, half monster. Uh, right. Brock Lesnar. He is he is uh, about six feet four, three hundred and five pounds of just pure athlete. He was a wow. former former NCAA six national champion. Six foot four, three hundred and five pounds. Yeah. Now, just how how much do you weigh? Because you're very muscular. I'm like uh, six feet two forty, so he makes me look like a midget. But you've got, uh, I mean, you've got gigantic arms and hands. You uh, check me out, though. No, no, not. <laughs> certainly, no, my man over there was like, maybe he is. Certainly I, not in that respect. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure you lift a lot of weights, you do a lot of push-ups and things. But let me tell you something. I do Pilates. <laughs> I, I'm not, I'm not showy, but my muscles are quite elongated <laughs> and graceful. Very graceful. Yeah. It's very, very aesthetically pleasing. I, you know, I, I mean, if I went into baby curls right now, you would be quite intimidated. I would. I would. Now, now you got a, you got a, uh, you got a signature move. Yes, the uh, the signature move is called the fu. <laughs> So for the kids who are watching, that's the foo. Yes, the foo. The foo. All right, now this is a relatively new move. This is a relatively new move, and I actually created it during my feud with Brock Lesnar because his finishing move is the F5. Right. And so it would be like an F5 tornado, and I came up with the FU for like an FU tornado. Right, all right, yeah. So sort of a response to what he called his move. Yeah. Exactly. exactly. All right. Now, uh, I understand that, uh, I don't know, do we have time? Can we get uh, Can we get you to show it to me? Do we have time, Stephanie, for... I me to try the move? I, I'd like to try You know move. what? I, I was going to show it to you, but I don't think you'll get up from it. But I, I, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. I mean, you, you've got some broad shoulders and, you know, you already, I came here to teach you some stuff. All if right. you want to learn, I want to teach you my craft. I want to, I want to see something. All right. Please. You want to show them some stuff. Okay. I'm going to show you one offensive weapon. It's probably the most intimidating of all the offensive weapons. Let weapons. me get ready first. You, you do your thing. You're going to do some... <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. I'll give you your time, man. You take your time. <laughs> you always doing this type of stuff? Time, dog. All right, cool. Me. All right, cool. This is a move uh, made to perfection by such superstars as Chris Benoit, right. Ric Flair, Chris Jericho. It's called the reverse knife edge chop. Right. And I'm going to have you do it to me. I'm not going to do it to you because you're a cool guy and I like you. All right. And I, I, I see how you look without the coat on. I'm a little disappointed. So anyway. <laughs> that's, 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 that's all right. That's all right. Would you like me to take the shirt off? No. <laughs> You got some fans out there. By the way, I, you should have seen me before the steroids. <laughs> okay, what you're gonna do to me? Since the mic is over here, and I don't, I don't want to, I don't want you to cut your hand on the mic. Yeah. You're gonna, I'll, I'll give you the slow motion display. Of what we're gonna do? You're gonna turn your hand upside down, just like that. If I was to give you a reverse knife edge chop, I'm just gonna stand here for you like this. You're gonna wind way up. And you're gonna come all the way through and hit me as hard as you can in the chest. Oh, in Pilates we call that the swan. So it is <laughs> the reverse knife edge chop slash the swan. All right. Okay. Ready? Let's uh, let's see how you do. Let's see. Oh, I, I'll get over here. You yeah, you have to be here. All right. Cool. cool. Well, like if I was wrestling, if I told the guy I could only do everything from the left, would he stay there? Would he uh, stay there? no, no. I, I'd be out of there. I'd be out of there real quick. That was like the sorriest chop I ever seen. <laughs> We're going to go to commercial and, and give you a chance to uh, collapse. You let me down. All right, let here me. we go. Ladies and gentlemen, big hand. Thank you very much. Sir. We'll be Thank right you. back with Ian McCall. Thank you very much. Sir.